Okay, so recently, as we all know, OpenAI released Sora 2, and it has been taking over the internet because of its realistic movement physics and lip sync. Oh man, look at that view. We're floating right over the ridge. Well, for us to access it, we would need an invite code, and even if you manage to find one, you would need to be in some specific select regions. Well, in this video, I will show you a way to use it without an invite code and regional blocks. And the best part is that it's with a free new tool I just found out, and trust me, this one's crazy. It's an all-in-one platform built specifically for viral content, and they recently added Sora 2. But this tool isn't just for Sora 2. It can help you to actually create viral content like those Minecraft storytime videos and a whole lot more. I mean, this tool can actually be used to print and not just for fun if you have the right mindset. Now watch till the end because this might actually change your life. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content like this. If you want to learn how to make money with AI and AI influencers, subscribe to my other channel. Okay guys, so this is the name of the tool that we're going to be talking about today, and it's called Teza. Don't worry, the link will be in the description. Now, as you can see here, this is a tool that helps you generate short-form content. And to be honest, they've thought of the best possible scenarios for short-form content because they've literally optimized this specifically for viral content. As you can see, they're powering creators on TikTok, Shorts, and Instagram. And honestly, you can use it to generate videos for lots of different platforms. You can unleash your creativity. As you can see, these are basically the types of viral content that this tool helps you generate. It has a lot of variety. You can see here one of those parkour engaging videos. You can see clips. You can see these Minecraft engaging videos and a lot more. So let's just simply go on here and click on start a free trial. And that's one cool thing about this tool. It is also free to try and if you click on it, we should then be presented with this interface and the UI looks user-friendly. Okay, so as you can see, these are basically what they offer. What really brought me to this tool is the Sora 2 that they've recently integrated. And we all know that this tool helps you out with creating viral content. And we also know that Sora 2 has been going viral on basically every social media platform recently. So you can use this and create viral Sora 2 videos. But not just that, as you can see here, we can use it to generate smart cut clips or streamer clips where you can basically just upload their YouTube link and it would help you generate viral clips. You can also use this to make those engaging viral Reddit story video. Here is also for text stories and also other engaging content that involve Minecraft in the background and a whole lot more. Honestly, it has a whole lot of different games, but we'll get into that. Well, first of all, as we can see here, we can try Sora 2 that they've recently added. And as you can see, all we need to do is just basically put in a prompt and generate the video. It's that simple. So we have a prompt like this and we can simply click on generate video. And yes, it is that simple. Literally just put in your prompt and you're using Sora 2. Okay, so as you can see here, it has started generating already, which is really cool. And as you can see, this is another video that I generated and this was the prompt. And yes, while this is generating, let's look at the video generated from it. Is that a chicken in class? It's on the teacher's desk. Everyone freeze. It just took my pizza. Is someone going to stop it? Is that coming over the intercom? As you saw, that was nice, prompt accurate, and it could also be a viral video. So we can obviously save the video over here, which is also convenient. And let's wait for this to generate. Okay, so it's done generating. And you can take a look at it. <laughs> Food? That was nice. We can go here to save the video. Then we can go back and still use Sora 2 to generate. But this time, let's generate a video for our AI influencer. Say something like this. A simple prompt like this and click on generate video. So as you can see, it's done generating and we can watch. Okay, you all asked for a haul, so here it is. First up, this sage cardigan. The knit is so soft and the color is perfect for fall. I'm obsessed. I grabbed this little candle, vanilla of course, because I burned through them like crazy. These loafers, minimal, but the gold detail makes them look elevated, total staple. And you know I couldn't leave- I love the subtle background music it introduced to give it that little bit more touch of realism. All in all, it did a good job. So. Let's go over and generate another video for an AI influencer. Okay, so once again, we put in our prompt for it. Let's try a different type of video. Let's say something like this. Now this is a bit more complex. So we have this prompt here and we can click on generate video. Okay, 
So in no time at all, the video is done generating and we can take a look at it. Hi, welcome back. Just relax for a few minutes with me, okay? I'm gonna give you some calming sounds, tapping first, and a little bit of soft scratching. You're doing great. Really nice video. Yeah, so we can go over here to save the video. And this tool is just insane. Now remember, you can keep on using Sora 2 over and over. It's literally unlimited. And then as you can see, they have these other tools that could help you actually generate viral content, like this one, where all you need to do is just to drop in the YouTube link or just upload the video file and it would generate viral clips. Also, they do the same thing for streamer clips. And as you can see, this Reddit story is a really interesting one because all you need to do is you can simply just put in a script or you could generate a script with AI if you don't already have one. So we have this script here. We can use this script over here and just simply go to the style. And then we can select a subtitle style and the color that we want. And you can customize a lot here. You can choose the video background. I can choose whether I want green screen, Minecraft, Trackmania, or the rest to be playing in the background. So yeah, that is actually really cool. We have a green screen where we could literally add our own background if we want, but we just choose Minecraft and move forward to the audio where we can select the voice of our script. And there is a whole lot here, but let's pick this one. So let's go back to the script and put in a different title and click on generate and it'll start generating. As you can see, this script is already generating over here. Okay, so it is done and we could also export it. Okay, so as you can see, it has started exporting and it's done and this is what it generated. Emma had always felt like there was more to her city than met the eye. She had grown up there, gone to school there, but something about it never quite added up. It was a place where nothing ever seemed to happen, where the streets were always quiet and the people were always polite, but in a strange, almost too polite way. It wasn't until she stumbled upon the old, mysterious-looking bookshop on Elm Street that things started to shift. The sign above the door read, Curios and Antiques, and the windows were filled with dusty relics and peculiar trinkets. Emma had never noticed it before, and a shiver ran down her spine as she pushed open the door and stepped inside. The shop was cramped and dimly lit, the air thick with the scent of old paper and forgotten memories. Emma wandered the narrow aisles, running her fingers over the spines of ancient tomes and the intricately carved wooden boxes on the shelves. It was as if she'd stepped into a different world, one that existed parallel to her own, but was somehow more authentic, more real. As she reached the back of the shop, Emma noticed a small door, almost hidden behind a stack of books. It was slightly ajar, and she felt a sudden jolt of curiosity. She pushed the door open and found herself in a narrow stairway, which led down into darkness. The air grew colder with each step, and Emma could feel the weight of something heavy hanging over her. She reached the bottom of the stairs and found herself in a large, dimly lit room filled with rows of candles and strange symbols etched into the walls. The room seemed to be some sort of hidden chamber, and Emma felt a thrill of excitement mixed with a dash of fear. As she looked around, a figure emerged from the shadows. He was an old man with piercing blue eyes and a kind smile. Welcome, Emma, he said, his voice low and soothing. I've been waiting for you. And that was just perfect. It got everything correct about the style and the story is so engaging too. So don't forget, you can try this tool out for completely free. Be sure to check it out with the link in the description and like and subscribe for more AI content like this.